Welcome to the Ava Ava Show. I'm here today with some fire. Wait. <laughs> is a really cool thing. I love that it changes color with the temperature. There's some blue and there's some... People would say orange, but if I saw that on the paper, I would say almost indescribable color. Not necessarily orange. I would say peach. That's something for you to know. And... Um, I'm just gonna retell this story that I don't really want to retell anymore because I want to move past it but I really just want to tell a living breathing person and not a camera but I want to go to bed and I feel like I need to get it out but I can't call Relationships with people are so complicated sometimes. What a mystery, but not really. But here we go. So there was, I was driving home from being with my friends about an hour ago or 40 minutes ago maybe. And there was a big crash in front of me because this person was going way too fast. Then they tried to go on the shoulder right really, really close next to another car because they were about to hit him from the behind. So I think they tried to go around him, but then around them was too close and they hit him, hit him across the freeway. And I was like, ah! and the whole freeway stopped. And that's a big deal in LA because it's LA. And then, um, called 911. Everyone was like, okay, even though the cars were both pretty bad, especially the one that hit the other one, the one whose fault it was, bad, bad, bad. Like the whole window was shattered, but people like someone got out to see if they were okay. I called 911 and they were like helpful. And then they transferred me to CHP and the CHP guy, I accidentally told them the wrong way on the freeway. Like I said that we were on the westbound freeway, but we were on the eastbound freeway. Cause you know, I was kind of like trying to figure out what to do. There was like gas leaking everywhere on the ground. So it was like, I don't really want to be around here. Is the car gonna explode? I don't really know very much about cars, but I was close enough that if the car started exploding, then I would have died as well. <laughs> I didn't feel like that to happen but I was on the phone so I told them westbound and then the guy was so mean and I was like sir I'm just trying to help out and if he kept being rude or needed me longer I would have said more and been like I understand that you go through these things all the time and this is your job but this isn't my job and if you understand the reaction I had it's just because I'm stressed and it's really natural for people to say the wrong things when they're stressed and so please chill out. I wouldn't say that, that would be mean. I would say, please, sir, thank you for having a little grace for me. And maybe you can remember this next time that someone tells you westbound instead of eastbound. It would have taken them maybe about 10 extra minutes, you know? to figure it out because they'd be like where's all the car pile up and then they see that all the traffic is stopped because only one car could really get there at a time so it happened I was all stressed out and then I was going home and then I wanted to call my friend but I can't and I was like who I talked to and I told God and I prayed for them but I love God and I guess it would be good to practice God's presence more <gasps> My friend texts me a heart. I like my friends. And then, but then I didn't do that. I did tell God. It didn't feel like that warm, comforting voice that I was wanting. Because God is a little whisper for me most of the time. Um, It's because the pictures. 
coming tonight. Then I got home and I was kind of nervous. Like I, I know my roommate's coming home. So I was getting like a little scared and also I'm really cold on my arms because it's very cold in here, but my legs are covered, but I'm going to go to bed soon. And <sighs> um, then there's a fridge in the front of my house and a big cabinet. And I was like, who put their trash in front of my household? <laughs> and then I was got out of my car and the neighbor was out and I said, hey, he said, hey. And I was like, do you know who put a, tra um, a refrigerator in front of my house? He didn't answer me. He might have not heard me. But that's what happened. And here I am. And I was just doing something. Oh. Yeah. I'm just gonna not watch TV for three weeks for fasting. Well, not when I'm on my own. So I think that'll be a good routine and habit to establish for starting my new job. I'm a little nervous about my new job and also so excited. Um, it's just a really big new routine change. And also there have been so many car troubles lately and that's not what I'm a fan of. And I don't really want to get an accident. So that's just how I've been feeling lately. I had a nice time with my friends though. And I'm still a little brain activated. So I'm going to figure out something else to do. Might go bother some of my friends. With a voice in my mind. Um, it's a bird. Anyways, I'm happy, healthy, wholesome, and here. Woo so, everything's good in the hood. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said that phrase, and I'm sorry for anyone I just offended, because I think that's really old and outdated and weird for me to be saying, but owie oity mighty, um, have a great day, and if you have some car accident stories, maybe don't write them in the comments, but maybe you can say, I get it, girl. And things like that. Whatever. And I'm so chilly. Okay.